I'm Dr. Margie Gilmore. I'm the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Roger J. Pansiera Education Center. Let me give you a little history about this building. It opened in August 2020, and it was created to bring a beautiful ambiance to students when they're trying to learn. And also, we have state-of-the-art teaching rooms We've also been able to bring all three years classroom together under one roof so that our students can see each other. First year class students can mingle with third year and second year. So that's a real opportunity our students never had before. Now I want to introduce you to Roger J. Pansiera. The building was named after him and donations were given in his name to build this. He was a phenomenal pathologist. He was known worldwide, not only for his pathology expertise, but for his colorful personality and always saying just what he meant. So he was a refreshing personality for our college. And if it weren't for him, we probably wouldn't be standing here now. This is the lobby with windows and beautiful lighting and places for students to meet and group and discuss. And then we're gonna move into one of our classrooms. There are three of them for year one, year two, and year three. And students move into that classroom as they advance in our curriculum. And all of them are built very similarly. So come on in and let me explain what they are. We're going to go into the first year classroom. So as you can see, it's a very large room. Each one is approximately 3,000 square feet. So our goal in these classrooms was to create an experience for students and the instructor where seating could be arranged in any type of format, whichever, whichever would be the best learning for our students for that particular material. So every piece of furniture here is mobile and very light, so seating can be rearranged at the drop of a hat. Right now, you see the seating in straight rows, which may be appropriate for some classroom delivery, but also they can be grouped, so you can have groups of students in six or eight or four, whatever seems to work out best, and that allows the instructor to move around among their students and really get a feel for what students are thinking and encourage participation in the class. Because of that flexibility, you'll see that we have monitors on all four walls. So however the students are seated, they will have a very good view of the screen where the instructor is presenting their material. We also have a very small little podium. We're trying to encourage instructors to move among the students and get away from the presentation style or lecture style where the instructor is very much separated from their students. In addition, the rooms are equipped with two screens and projectors, so if for any reason an instructor wanted to have everybody forward facing and looking at the same two screens, we could do that as well. Now the other benefit and intent of these rooms is not only to serve as a classroom, but also as a study space for our students after hours. So students can move their desks again in any arrangement, they can move them up to a monitor. They can actually plug their laptop into that monitor and have a whole discussion among their group. And you can have many students in here after hours studying. We've created one of the rooms to be a quiet study room. So after five, it's quiet if you want peaceful study. If you want to study with your group, you can come into one of the other two classrooms. And then lastly, the other thing we wanted to be sure we had were plenty of whiteboard space. So you can see there are glass whiteboards that encircle the room. And again, that's for students to work together in groups. They have a space to write on and work through problems. And that's all to encourage a lot of collaborative work because in the veterinary medicine curriculum, collaboration, which teaches you the skills to be a future collaborator as a practitioner, are very, very important.